Breaking the wall of extreme weather early warning. Kai Kornhuber, Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. Yeah, hi, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for all the great talks so far. Uh, oh yeah, no, not, not yet. <laughs> so let's start, uh, let's start with this map. Um, these are the temperature anomalies uh, during the 2010 heat wave in Moscow and uh, the surrounding regions, um, which caused uh, 50 uh, thousands of deaths, uh, several wildfires, and uh, a lot of crop losses. Um, uh, and uh, you see the, the Moscow area here. Um, these kind of events are very likely to happen more often in the future. And as you see, we are already at the state where we face a fivefold uh, increase of probability compared to a normal climate. So uh, the extreme is actually becoming the normal, uh, which we can see when you look at these events uh, of the last decade, where we saw a clustering of heat events and uh, major flooding causing uh, several deaths and uh, affected millions of people in general. So uh, um, undoubtedly it would be great to know more about these events and how they occur and the mechanisms behind. And we are already pretty far with that uh, because we know that the phase of the circum global jet stream uh, and the higher troposphere affects the surface weather uh, majorly. So whenever we see this kind of uh, wavy structure that uh, persists over a certain region, we know that people are in trouble uh, on the surface. So here again, uh, the Moscow area where hot air is coming uh, sucked in into this high that is trapped here and the low here is actually uh, getting uh, very cold air from the north and leading to rain just a few kilometers on the other side. So here people are drowning while people are suffer from thirst and uh, dryness just a few kilometers uh, away. So at the Potsdam uh, Institute we developed uh, a mechanism to detect such, such uh, events, which is already pretty great. So uh, here we have the summer 2010 again and the detected heat wave. Uh, but we, we went a step further and tried to make um, yeah, an early warning system out of that. So what we saw that uh, in the zonal um, wind field, we see a certain pattern that is referred to as a double jet stream or p double peak in the uh, yeah, longitudinal averaged uh, west to east wind field. And whenever we have that connected to several other indices, we would be able to save many lives and uh, prevent a lot of financial damage by installing an early warning system. Thank you. Um, well, this is still in uh, progress, of course. And uh, normal weather forecasts is about two weeks because of the chaotic <coughs> system, so that would be the maximum uh, time range, I would say. Excellent.